This is Visual Park, the software that comes with the DreamEye digital camera, which you can see more of in my Inside Out video if you haven't already. Quite a few of the features of this software are online only, so we're not going to be able to look at those, but there is a video conference mode which lets you stream video to another person with a dream eye. I'm quite ahead of its time when you think about it. But there are some features we can look at that are offline, including this video recording mode which lets you make a 25 second video which you can save to your VMU, or if you are online, send by email. Um, this camera is not very good at recording fast movement because it only comes at about 2 frames per second. So uh, this is the recording quality of the I, uh, Dream Eye, which is not particularly good. It doesn't like fast movements or anything remotely moving, because otherwise it just blurs like crazy. And you only get 25 seconds. And the sound quality is a bit poo. Well, it did come out in the year 2000, so you shouldn't be that surprised. But And it is made for web streaming, so you're supposed to have to send this over the internet and fit it on the CMU, which is very tiny file size, so that's probably why it looks so bad. In fact, can you even understand a word I'm saying? I could call you a twat, and you won't even notice, because the sound, the sound quality is so bad. <laughs> See, you can't, you can't understand a word I'm saying. Ooh, this is quite interesting. Turns out you can put any kind of microphone into this thing. This is just my regular PC microphone, and it works inside the... Uh, microphone adapter so you can put any kind in, not necessarily the one that comes with it. And if anything, it sounds a little bit better, doesn't it? Hey, look, it looks like this one works too. That's pretty cool. I've got two different PC microphones and they both work. Anything that can go in that port there. See, look, there. See? It's actually a lot better than the one that comes with it. The one that comes with it wobbles about a bit as you, as you saw in the previous video. As you can see, there's this strange thing where it takes about six seconds to brighten up, uh, six seconds, uh, seven seconds, there you go, it takes about seven seconds to brighten up, so you don't want to start recording straight away, because otherwise it's very dark. Whoa, look at that, it's me recording the Dreamcast screen, that's recording the Dreamcast screen, just recording the Dreamcast screen, whoa, look at that, it's like a gateway, it's like um, the Sega dimension, the dimension where Sega hasn't given up, and they're awesome again. Now the best offline feature is the photo show mode, which uses Adobe Photoshop features apparently. Here you can tinker around with the photos that are on your dream eye and then save them to your VMU, adding little icons, framing them in special pictures and even slideshowing them. If you were online you could also email these edited photos to people. As you can see a lot of the photos didn't turn out so good, they are either too dark or off centre. Photo editing stuff like this is commonplace in modern systems like the Nintendo Wii and the uh, Nintendo DSi, but still what you get here is quite fun to tinker around with. And look, a real life Chao garden! You, you see what I did there, I, I, I took a photo of my garden and uh, pasted some Chaos in there. And uh, One of them saying boo and the other one saying some Japanese, I don't know what he's saying. Remember that scene in the movie, Look Who's Talking, with the evil toilet, with the big bushy eyebrows? I WANT YOUR PEE PEE! Doesn't he look smashing in that little bow tie, the little red bow tie? You can even stick your face in one of those seaside-like pictures, look! Now I'm a muscle man! Now how could we make the Dreamcast any more awesome than it already is? How about a... A scar and a moustache. Now that would make a brilliant limited edition drink cast. A scarred moustached drink cast. Yes, we love you, scarred moustache drink cast. The only problem with the uh, photos is they take up quite a lot of room on the memory card. They seem to take a different amount of room depending on the photo, but they seem to take at least 35 to 40 blocks. Just recently on DCEmulation.org, Blue Crab has released a Dream Photo Manager, which lets you delete any unwanted photos off your DreamEye camera. I haven't filled this camera up yet, but apparently you can fit around 30 photos on the thing at any one time. So you're going to need this disk if you want to delete stuff, because I don't think Visual Park actually gives you a way to delete the photos manually off the camera. Though I could be wrong, I haven't actually looked at everything on this thing.
So the dream I had in this visual park is a nice novelty, and especially if you've got your Dreamcast Online with a broadband adapter, and know someone else has got a dream eye with a broadband adapter, I can imagine this would be quite fun to play around with. Offline there isn't a lot to do, but it's fun to mess around with for a little while. If you're a Dreamcast collector, this is one of the cheaper accessories to buy if you can find it online somewhere. So why not? You can sandwich it in between your Denji to go train simulator controller and your Samba Amigo Maracas and your Fetch One Twin Sticks and the Popper Music Controller. Let me turn my arm into a propeller! Nom 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 n